My name is Erin Ra, and I will be discussing about Apple and Samsung and how their differences in America and Korea and their marketing techniques, and especially their management style and why Samsung and Apple are heavily competing against each other. And right now, not many people know of Naver in America. It's not the most popular search engine in America. However, in Korea, almost, almost uh, everybody here I notice when they're using their cell phones and smartphones, they're always using Naver preferred, preferred over Google. And in America, Google is the most popular search engine. And um, the run of the, this is the layout of Naver, and it kind of looks similar to America's Yahoo page, actually. But um, so as you can see, there's just newspapers, just random, uh, I don't know, I guess news, how to videos, and there's a search engine. and. There's uh, blogs, newspapers, and videos, and everything that you basically want. And the other ones that we use, um, Google, is just, well, this is Google Korea, but it's just a search engine, that's it. And one of the reasons, I guess, for the differences is for the cultural dimensions. In Korea, everybody wants for to like have the information right away, everything that they can see. And in America, we prefer simple, appealing to the eyes, and that also shows a difference because um, Samsung's homepage actually is, uh, it has a lot of pictures. I couldn't capture the whole thing because there's so many photos and links on it, but Samsung's homepage actually has their flag. Um, it shows pictures of the president and the vice president uh, with getting like a reward, award for doing charity and events. and. For the flag, it shows like a sense of nationalism because uh, Samsung is born in Korea and people are very proud of the company saying that it's all Korean. Even though actually Samsung is not 100%. It is Korean, but it was comes from Japanese management staff called Zeritsu. And um, Apple's photo, which I have to say, Apple's. Apple's photo um, of their homepage is just, it just shows a picture of the iPad, which um, the homepage for Apple is just very simple, and it has that, um, the iPad, and it just, there's some links, but aside from Samsung's page, there's really not much going on. And Apple did not actually change for um, Korea's website. All they did was just put it in Hangul, and maybe for, they could, look into what cultural dimensions of Apple and Korea is really popular. So in Korea, they prefer information like right now, and they, it's okay to, as we see it in America, we see it as busy, but in Korea, they see it as good. And they think it's as a cultural dimension, they think it's normal for them to see it all the time. And so maybe Apple could endorse, or change the web layout, possibly. Uh, Sorry, I'm really nervous. <laughs> um, and as for the cultural dimensions, um, I'm going to discuss like Samsung and Apple are both trying to get the news market, which is in China. In China, um, there's a very big future of huge smartphone market, and Samsung has already been in um, China for a while, and Apple is just approaching now. However, um, China and uh, in China, um, there's a very big market for expensive users. So Samsung has created a, a line just for um, for people who have a lot of money, which is pretty much law, just the 80-20 rule. So they've decided the, that 20% um, of the users will have 80% of their profits. So they decided, designed a specific line for um, Chinese, I guess, consumers. The cell phone is very expensive. It's about $2,000, but people see it as luxury item, and a lot of the wealthy, very wealthy people in China want it. And um, so Samsung's designed the phone for that, just for that, but, and then they've also incorporated apps so that Chinese, uh, people can just use specific apps. There are apps that in all over the world that Chinese people only use, but there's no such thing as Google, or um, I don't, yeah, 
uh, Google, and they use this photo sharing app, and it's only popular in China. So they've been using that, and they've incorporated the apps in the cell phone, actually, so they don't have to download it. But Apple's only made it just so they can download it, but Samsung has thought about the needs for the customer, and um, Apple has not thought of it as much. So maybe Apple could possibly think of those pictures.